commenter once said, Why are you wasting money just to go to the mountain? No, it's better to just watch a television at home. Well, I don't agree to this. And I hope you watch this until the end. And we're now heading to Manal with 3,400. Oh my god, it's hard to breathe. This is our bikepacking journey across Annapurna. After hiking the Everest Base Camp, I finally arrived in Pokhara with my bicycle. I finally met my kababayan from Pak Gear Cebu. And here we are, suffering at the same time enjoying. It's so hard. It's <laughs> 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 Oh, he loved me a bit. <laughs> this was originally their event and I just joined them. The next day, we started cycling here in Pokhara to Belzor. It all started with city view, everything was wide and mostly paved roads that finally had started us to climb. <laughs> Lots of cars are passing by, that's why it's super dusty. Like this one. Oh, Hello, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> finally had started us to climb. It's just very hot and dusty during this time. It's really hard to eat lunch here because um, sometimes there are no other options so we just momo and chow mein for this and I've been having this for a month now. The cook showed us his skill and it took him 5 minutes for him to prepare. Now, uh, 44 kilometers pa lang kami. It feels like it's been 150 kilometers. Everything is gravel road and uphill. Now, time for some descents. The fun of biking begins. Just arrived here to sa Sunday Bazaar. So tired. Mix of only assault and unlimited descent. descent. Today is kind of just a warm up day, but it's still tiring because it's the start of adventure. And we're just gonna rest here for a night. So tomorrow it's gonna be more tough, more challenging, and let's see what's gonna happen tomorrow. We're just gonna rest here for a day. We just wash our clothes and time to rest for now. We woke up early in the morning and had our breakfast. <laughs> now it's mostly gravel, but at times it would be an unfinished road which leads to another gravel road. Where you need to carry your you bike. You know what I love here in Nepal? Um, if you say namaste to people, they'll greet you, they'll smile you. Every person we meet, we're greeting them. Namaste! <laughs> namaste! I have so much energy today. As of it's now, it's numbing energy. <laughs> oh my god. Namaste! It is a Gairi. Besar Municipality, one number two Gairi. Five kilometers. <coughs> and um, we found out that Sundar Bazaar means market. So, Bazaar, yeah, Bazaar means market. And according to a local here, and we stopped by here, and thankfully there are tons of Sari Sari star. Mm. Hello, Namaste! Namaste! <laughs> The locals are very friendly and it's just so fulfilling to see the smiles of people and whenever they found out that we're Filipinos, um, they keep on saying Kamusta ka and other stuff like that. Bachelon Bessi Sahar, I don't know how to pronounce It's kind of easy here, full of cars. Everyone's rushing, I don't know why. And it's very seepy. 
I think it's a big town. I'm gonna say Jagat. Jagat? Yeah. Straight? This is Jagat. There's a checkpoint here in Besishwar. And finally, we found the way. <laughs> oh, it's Uh, soy sauce, uh, oyster sauce, <laughs> uh, lemongrass, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. it's a boiling and very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> when you're cycling off-road, you'll feel every bump. And traveling by bike is different from traveling by motorcycle and traveling by walk. You'll get the chance to interact more with the locals. You'll experience the culture, your focus on the road. You feel every bump, you feel the nature. You see the smile of people around. Yeah. So fulfilling, especially if you're cycling in a silent, peaceful place like this. Um, we took the old Manang Road, so there's uh, two different roads here Old Manang Road and New Manang Road. It's been raining non stop. Uh, we're almost six kilometers away going to. Jagar. So yeah, let's do it. Woo! This is the uh, Chame. It's already 4:30 p.m. It rained. The switchback roads are scenic but muddy. Sometimes I have to carry on uphill. My shoes are now wet. We finally arrive in our accommodation with a river. Oh my. Did you get here? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, Instead of going to Dragar, so it's still gonna be 4 kilometers more, I think so. But it will take another, an, an, another hour. And we just wanna rest for now. Sums up my hour day two and see you tomorrow for another day of adventure. Kaya pa? Ano? Kaya pa? Kaya kaya! <laughs> Maganda yung place. Yung oh. ulan kasi, uh, magkikita mo yung additional na mga waterfalls. Mm. Eh. Additional attraction kasi yung mga, mga waterfalls eh. We were greeted by river sounds in the morning. Ginger milk tea. Mas lamang yung ginger. Ngayon natin ang asupal. Kailangan natin iluban. Hindi pa rin naahis yung... Ahisin ko na nga. Yung tornilyo ng Garmin. From Shange, we now headed to the Nagyo. This is the toughest among all the places we've been to in this adventure. I'm right out today, 7 a.m. Um, thankfully, we didn't go to Jagat. It all started with steep gravel roads, some being too rocky with extremely steep climbs.
gosh, it is so nice. Um, it's now um, the road is not wide, and you are surrounded by rock formation, and it's lots of downhill right now. <laughs> Whenever we take a rest, it's an opportunity to dry up our clothes. It's blazing hot and tiring. Someone broke something in his bike, so we had to rest and eat for a while. We passed by waterfalls along the road in between steep climbs that were impossible to bike at. Ping nila dito pag go order ka. It's good for three people. We had lunch with this view. Hikers were on site. <laughs> the Nagyo. The Nagyo. And I'm one of them. Oh my gosh. Two point three na lang daw. Oh, two point three. Lapit ten minutes, no? <laughs> the local said um, it's just ten minutes away, but it's been already thirteen minutes, <laughs> and we're still here. T five p.m. Everything is still uphill, and then the rain has come. It became harder to pedal. I push my bicycle. No, it's raining. That's the usual. Time. Usually it rains at 2 p.m. We are already in District 5. Darapani! This is Darapani? Darapani? Oh! But we still have an hour left to cycle to our next accommodation. I think we're not gonna stay here. So compared to Everest Base Club, um, this one is Accessible Bay Road, so there are tons of supply and it's cheaper compared to Base Camp because um, in every year's Base Camp they carried it by a Sherpa and by a helicopter. But this one it's they carried it by a truck. This is how they built their houses. Namaste! You can see people are like wearing cold clothes here because it's different culture. Namaste! <laughs> we found this tea house along the road. They said we don't need to pay for accommodation and we just have to pay for the food. I got three beds all by myself. I don't think they're changing the mattress, but it's okay. We're just gonna sleep anyway. Ilalabas natin ang tinig out na macaroni kanina. Na gusto niyo yung macaroni niya? Huh? The air got thinner as we navigated the winding roads of the Nage and Lower Pisang. It feels like I am in Nepal now with the big rock formations snow peaks and mountains all around. The Himalayas can be seen along the road. There were plenty of waterfalls that we passed by and we headed down to Lower Pesang. I had to stop a lot. I also took so many pictures this time. Na, na, natin dapat mamis sa uh, lunch. Mamo! <laughs> Pagkain nyo ng day one. Mamo! <laughs> day four. Mamo din. 
Mama dun. Mama. Bikin gari cakap. Mama is like. Cinematic mama. And um, we just passed by this farmhouse. So it's in the middle of nowhere in Bratang. There's a farmhouse here. Unfortunately, it's um, one night stay here is 3,000, 6,000. One night stay here is 6,000. So there is a farm here for apple, apple plantation. And I think this is a good place to stay and wine and chill. But we're not going to stay here. We're going to go straight. It's 3 p.m. After three hours of cycling, <laughs> Nakaka seven, nakaka nine kilometers time since lunch. And we're just gonna have some merienda to chill. <laughs> Finally, time for some merienda. Um, we have apple pie here, so they have apple plantation and china out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. There were plenty of waterfalls that we passed by and we headed down to Lower Pesang. It's all downhill to get here and we usually limit our climb to 500 meters this time. We just lost our signal and thankfully we finally saw them after looking for them for an hour. Last three kilometers stretch before we arrive at Lower Bezang. It's already 5 p.m. Thankfully it didn't rain. We're already at 3,000 above sea level. Hopefully I won't experience altitude sickness this time. Kilometers left. <laughs> and usually um, the accommodations here are free and you just have to order food and yeah they still have hot they still have hot showers so really good time very cold right now <sighs> Just gonna rest, eat, rest, and tomorrow it's gonna be another day of adventure again. Pui. So tired. Another day of packing. Namaste! Having breakfast in Lower Pisang. Ganado pa kumain ng mga kami. We had 167 meter elevation gain. Finally. <laughs> it's hard to vlog. So, <sighs> Zilla. This is Braha Village. It's scenic here, and we are surrounded by mountains. It's very peaceful. Yeah, I realize um, biking and hiking is different. Like, even though I just came from Mount Everest Base Camp, this is a different kind of experience. Like, you're biking. 
for this view. We only pedaled four hours this time and left our bicycles in Manang to prepare for acclimatizing. Dear Commenter, instead of thinking that adventure is just a waste of money, think of it as an opportunity to build connection with nature and people around you. It's one of the most rewarding things you can do in your lifetime. Sitting at home means you're just there, watching my unforgettable moment. This is not the end because for the part 2 of this video, we will be aiming to reach Torong La Paz, one of the highest mountain pass in the world.